Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Gesture VR, a game that was released, or an app that was released on the Steam Store yesterday, February 23rd, 2023. It normally retails for $14. It's on a release sale 15% off. I bought it at that release sale price. Now, Gesture VR is a unique app in VR because it's focused on figure drawing in VR, which is different than the rest of the painting or modeling apps in, in VR. So there's Vermilion, and you know that's focused on oil painting. There's Painting VR, which is also primarily focused, you know, on on, on oil painting. I would say that's sort of accurate. Uh, it, it's a little bit more. It has a little bit more than Vermilion because it's not just oil painting, but uh, it's really focused on the physics. I would say it's not as good as Vermilion, though, overall. Ver Vermilion, to me, is currently the best artistic tool in VR just because it's what it does, it does very well, which is focused on oil painting, and it's just fun, intuitive to use, and that's the one I would recommend if you can only buy one. Uh, there's also Google Tilt Brush, which is like the OG. Unfortunately, Google has stopped updating it. Uh, the good news is there's a free-to-play one from the community now that's based on Tilt Brush, and I highly recommend that one for three painting in 3D space. So you can actually also paint in 3D space in here. Let me let me show that. Okay, there you go. You can paint in 3D, but uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> this is not what this app does very well. I would say just, you know just just paint in. Google Tilt Brush. Obviously, you have 3D models here. So if you really want to uh, figure 3D draw, then th I guess this one would be the one because you have models and you have lighting. Uh, and lastly, um, you have Oculus Medium, which Meta totally deprecated, sold to Adobe, and Adobe just totally killed it. So now all we have is it, really the best one is Adobe Adobe's version. I forget what the name of it is for, for 3D modeling. But let's get into gesture. So like I said, gesture, figure drawing for VR, pen and, uh, pen and paper, pencil and paper. <laughs> and you have your 3D models. You have several models to choose from. Unfortunately, due to YouTube and censorship, uh, I can't show the male or female models. There's actually quite a few. I can only show the miscellaneous. Uh, because I'm afraid Google's going to censor my video if I show any of the male or, or female. They're, they're, they're nudes. Uh, I have it on, by default, it does censor nudity, but still it's, it's a bit much. And YouTube is very sketchy when it comes to stuff like that. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just start. So one thing I want to show off is first, first things first, uh, the settings. Left-handed mode, you can change the music volume. As you can see, you can change the easel opacity. So there you go. If, if you want to change your... You can move the easel. You can resize the easel. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you will only want it opaque if you just want to, like, quickly draw, maybe. That's the only reason I can think of. Now, I am playing seated, so I'm a little bit lower than the model. So th I'm not sure this would work really well. And I'm putting pressure. That's how I'm drawing. You can press trigger as well. <laughs> that didn't work too well because I was looking. At, I changed the, my head. Uh, yeah, it didn't work very well because I changed my head. But there you go. Sort of a rough outline of what it should look like. Uh, We'll, we'll just make a new page, though. Okay, there we go. we're not going to use that cheat. But th that's the only reason I can think of the easel, easel opacity change. So we're going to keep it to the to the darkest because we don't want to use... You can also change the, the set. So I think either this one or the default one are the best. And then there's this one. I, I don't like this one. It's just too, it's too bright. So either this one or this one. We're going to keep with the default. And you have multiplayer. If you have a friend who you want to draw with, I think that'd be a cool idea. Unfortunately, I don't have a friend who has VR who'd want to draw with me. You have the camera. 
Again, oh, you know what? We can something we can do. Let's take this photo here. Sorry, that's not how you take the photo. You take the photo like this. There we go. Okay. Uh, and uh, oh, you can change the size of the brush. I think I already showed that, right? Okay, the size of the brush. You can change the the timer is how much time you have before the bell rings, and it automatically changes the the model pose or whatever. So I, I don't recommend it. Recommend that especially for a newbie like me, because you want as much time as possible. I can change the pages here. You can see some of my prior sketches and laugh at how terrible <laughs> I am. If you don't like something, though, you can just delete it or add a new page. Um, I think I think you're limited to a certain amount of pages. I'm not sure on that, actually. So, uh, But you can keep adding to your little sketchbook. And uh, I believe I've shown everything. Oh, no, not everything. So... Uh, you have your eraser. Now you have your eraser also here. You can resize your eraser as well. And you can change color. So the reason I want to show this is here. If you long press on the color, you can actually change the actual color size. I'm sorry, the color size. The actual color, the shade, how light, how... I want a little light blue, so we're going to... There we go. Okay, done. Okay, so I want a little light blue... Because uh, I want to really color in later on. And um, I, I think we're ready now. So, again, you can change the lighting. So, that's the default lighting. But you can change the lighting to however you need. You know, up, down, all around. You can also teleport around. Uh, teleport. Teleport. To wherever you need to be. But you can just move the model around. So, there's really no reason to be teleporting around. Uh, and also a uh, snap turn. Sorry. Oops. You snap turn with the same. That's a little weird though. Usually it, you change hands, but not in this game. So you want to get a little closer to the model, uh, but by default, we are a little bit, and you can also, uh, like I said, rotate, I'm uh, sorry, change the lighting, obviously, and also switch, turn the model around however you need. Uh, I want to be a little careful because this is a little bit risque, but I don't want... Let's see, how do we want the lighting? Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, that's how we want our model. This is the viewpoint that we want. And uh, let's go ahead, let's start drawing. So I don't have these on by default. I think this changes how how it gets dark. And I don't like, I don't like them. So I'm just going to keep the... The non-default, which is actually turned in, turning them off. Uh, pan rep re Oh, something I didn't show is the, the pan repositioning. So uh, if you press grab, you can change where you're grabbing it from. By default, I think... Let me show the default. So this is default. Now, the default is too high, in my opinion, because then it makes drawing a little, a little weird. So I actually have to reposition it just to make it right. So to me... It's more like this and now this is more natural so this is my hand just straight up and so it's got a little bit of a downward because that's how i like it and uh, yeah let's go ahead and let's see do we have this is the smallest it's a little too sensitive in changing brush size You know, I think I wanted the smallest just for a rough sketch. So we're going to do a rough sketch. Again, black, rough sketch. We have unlimited time, but I don't want to make this a long video, so we actually are limited in time. So, And the pen, the pen or pencil pressure, however you want to call it, for the figure drawing takes a little, get, little getting used to. So, you know, obviously I'm making it too dark by default. Uh... So that, that's something I have to get better at. Uh, uh, I don't know that this is right. I think I have the dimensions wrong here. Let me let me delete this. And again, we can make a new one real quick. So uh, again, uh, for the for how I want to sketch this, I want it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna have to.
you know what? It's not working. Let's uh, let's choose this one. I think that's what I want. Because I think it's just coming out too dark by default. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Because I just want to... This is great for making a rough sketch. Because I don't want very dark lines. Because this is just to get a sense of scale. You see that? You, know, you can barely see it. I don't know if you can see it very well in VR. But I just want uh, something very rough right now. But that I can still see enough and this is just like a very rough outline so you can see that when I want it dark I can make it dark but for the most part I'm just trying to make a rough sketch right now and we're limited for time as well, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm making all kinds of excuses for how horrible this is going to look like. And I have no talent. <laughs> okay, there, that's kind of kind of working, I guess. So we don't want to put too much time here in, in, in putting the shadows and whatnot. And so we just want to, like I said, we just want a rough sketch for right now. Okay. And yeah, so this is, I would say this uh, little option here is best for making a rough sketch real quick. You just want some lines, but you don't want it too dark in certain spots. You want to be able to put... Okay, there we go. Uh, I think the arm, I don't think it's that big because I'm making her a lot more muscular than, than she actually is. So that's something I want to change. So again, real easy. And it can make the erasing easier just by making it bigger. And... Okay, there we go. And then we can change back to our, our tool here. And just give her just more thinner, thinner arms. Give her more of that feminine figure that she has. <laughs> uh, but you know what? This is still seal. You can still see this right here. No. There we go. All right. So now that we've done that, because this is just, again, very rough sketch. Now we can add some details. So uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is change color. All right. <laughs> and I think we want this. Actually, we want the default. No, because I just want this as dark as possible. So we're going to try to add some details here. And we're going to try to make this look a little... Yeah, um, by the way, there is an undo. You can move back on your joystick and it'll undo or redo if you want to redo it. There you go. But we're going to undo. Uh, is there anything else I haven't shown? Oh, by the way, if you if you don't want to see this anymore, just click off, click off on it. But uh, again, we're going to have to be very careful here. Okay, let's, let's see how... I mean, this is not going to look good because I'm not talented, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I completely messed this up. And I messed up the nose while I, while I was near there, too. Oh, we're going to have to redo everything there. Okay. Note to self, be more careful with that. Okay. For, oh, for right now... Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can add a little bit more detail. We're going to be very careful here, too. 
there's there's a lot of shadow here so we want to add those details add those cheeks in there with with i don't know that's gonna look right but we're gonna go with it because we, we don't have a lot of time there we go <laughs> i know it doesn't look good i know oh so that's the one good thing about uh painting in vr is that there, there's an undo and uh, i definitely need the, the undo okay so I, let, let's just keep going because otherwise we're going to take too long. And there's some shadow here as well. And uh, she has a bigger donk over here that not that doesn't really show off too well in in, in my. Yeah, it's not really like in the in the actual model you can actually see it, but not in my painting for whatever reason. It just doesn't. Let me try, maybe this will help. Let's see. And I think my model is just a little, it's not thin enough. Um, and by the way, there are models of different shapes and sizes. So there was a review about the models all being of a singular shape or not, or not curvy enough or, you know, not, Represent. I don't think that's true. I think the models have different uh, body types. This one happens to be thin, but uh, there, there, there are some models, female models, that uh, are more heavy set. So there, there are different shapes and sizes. Uh, but, uh, but I'm messing up big time. So, so she has a little bit of a neck, but the shadows are really hiding it. So, and then this goes. Got okay. I'm really having trouble. Like I don't want her make make her her breast not exist, but at the same time, it feels like if I paint them on, I'm gonna make them look uh, unrealistic. Uh, man, you have to be a really talented artist here to do this justice. I don't know that I have the talent for it. <laughs> And her hand is sticking out here. And then her thumb. And then she's grabbing her dress up. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna delete all this because I'm I think I'm making her face look way too fat. She's not a, a heavy set person. But the way I have her drawn, it makes her look like she might be. Okay. All right, there. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with it because I just don't have the time to really fix it. I'm trying to draw this really fast for you guys. And then, okay. We're going to have to change brush, brush size right here because there's a lot of shadow right here. Where she's grabbing it, it kind of starts like this and kind of goes like this. And so we're just going to draw this in really quick. Okay, all right. There's some shadow here as well. I'm having trouble with all the shadows, to be to be honest with you guys. Let me undo all that, because I, I think I did a line that was just way too big. Okay, all right. So, oof. oh, this is her leg is... Something's wrong with her leg. How did I mess that one up? Okay, oh, okay. Oh, I made it too thin, and then I made it too thick over here. So, again, let's... Let's uh let's fix that. This doesn't look right. Okay. How do I how do I fix this though? I guess fix this line here. And again, we're gonna go back to our blue. And we're gonna change the size of the brush. We want it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then no. This is where this is where I really messed up right here. Okay, and then it kind of just goes like straight down here, and then she, she's got like really, she's like really fit, 
So, you know, she's got, you know, those calves and definition here. And I'm just messing up big time. It doesn't look right. But, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of speed, speed racing here, speed drawing. <laughs> she doesn't look very, I made her look, uh, she's a lot prettier than, than what I'm drawing. I'm not I'm not doing justice to her. I'm sorry, ma'am, whoever you are. I'm sorry. My 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 artistic skill is, is very limited. Um okay. <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to settle with that. Uh is there anything else that I haven't shown? Um, I don't think so. I think I think that's all I wanna show. Uh model for oh, let's take a let's let's do this. I'm going to have to move the model. There we, there we go. Oh, I, I messed up. I took the wrong. Oh, man. See, now the shadow's going to be messed up because it, it's not the same. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to take a photo. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, gesture VR is not for everyone. You know, I think painting in VR is kind of niche already, but this is further niche because it's really focused on figure drawing. So you have plenty of 3D models. Uh, let me go through them real quick so you can see some of the miscellaneous ones. Again, I'm not showing the male or female nude models. There's different poses, different props for the male and female models. But there you go. There's a skull. There's some... There we... A little boy, a hand... A skeleton and again you can move the skeleton around like that like so okay um there's a bear a bull oh god <laughs> whoa be careful there i'm gonna get banned from youtube a bull okay some tigers the bears and uh i believe looks like einstein is that einstein yeah i think i think that is um, so there you go. There's different models, male, female, miscellaneous. Um, you can do multiplayer. There's different ways to do the lines. There's lazy brush, intensity. Did I show that? Let me show the lazy brush because I'm not. Sh I don't remember if I did. I think I did, but you know I don't remember anymore. So with lazy brush, I'm just gonna do something real quick over here. I'm gonna do like a something that doesn't exist, a tree, maybe, or a bird. I don't know. This kind of helps with drawing curves. You see that? Do you see how it's easier to draw curves? Hopefully I showed that off. Uh, but again, if you want to delete real quick, you can do the eraser. Or you can do the backwards, forwards. There we go. Backwards to delete. Uh, there are no layers. So keep that in mind. This doesn't have layers, which is... I would prefer layers. I think it would really help this app if you had different layers. Um, because you might want to do something in one color or something in another color and doing it in layers really helps with that. Or you might want to like do like a very rough sketch and then put the detail in and then you can want to delete the, the rough sketch that you drew first. You can't do that with the sap. Uh, so there are no layers. Um, I'd say if you want, if you're interested in art in VR and be, being an artist for the first time, complete noob. I would say Vermilion is what I would recommend. Yeah, I think it's the best art creation app in VR. It makes oil painting uh, something that's accessible, easy to use, fun to use. So I think, in my opinion, Vermilion is the best. Uh, but uh, if you're looking for an app that has figure drawing, then this would be the app for you because there's 3D models, there's different lighting. Uh, like I said, you can switch the model around, you can change the lighting however you want. And uh, you got different pages for your little sketchbook. You see my little sketchbook here? You can make it transparent as well. <laughs> you see my sketches just aren't aren't very good. It automatically saves and you can delete or add new pages to your sketchbook. And uh, okay, I think that I think I've covered everything. Um, again, the timer, 
I don't recommend that for if you're new. Uh, but if you really want to practice, you know, you can limit yourself to like five minutes and try to draw something. Try try to draw one of the models in five minutes, then it'll change pose for you after five minutes. So you're done with that side, or it'll change to a different model. So you go to a new page in your sketchbook and, and go ahead with that. That really helps you out and for practice and becoming a better artist. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions for um, this app. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, but my recommendation is only if you're interested in figure drawing in 3D or if you just enjoy the other apps in VR, you just want a new one um, that brings us something a little different to the table, you know, because this is really focused on models and lighting and you can change the models. You know, this is something that the other apps just don't have. So you know, it's interesting from that perspective. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't have layers. So that's that would be a big negative. Um, so like, for example, if I wanted to delete the blue here and add a little detail in pen, uh, I can't do that. Uh, there's no way for me to just delete the blue uh, because there, it doesn't have layers. It's just one layer. Um, oh. I, I can't, like I said, you, you can't change the size of this thing. I think I said that right. But you, you notice it always retains the same dimensions. So some people may not like that. Uh, changing the, the pen size, you know, can be a little rough because it's just too sensitive. Like, you gotta be very careful. It's just, it just goes too fast. You know, so it's hard to have that. You gotta really, you gotta get really used to it just barely yeah it's hard to do it's hard to have good control over moving the resize um the tutorial is very basic it doesn't really teach you a whole lot I and mean, it shows you enough but not really it, like it never tells you what these are anyways i'm fast lawyer this has been my let's play initial impressions i'm not gonna score this uh but i will say that vermilion would be in my opinion the cream of the crop and if you can only buy one i would say buy vermilion that's the best one. Um, but if you're interested in like 3D uh, art creation, then I would say you get the free version of Tilt Brush that's free. Just Google it, you'll you'll find it. You know, free Tilt Brush is probably all you have to Google. I would recommend that if you're interested in 3D drawing. Uh, painting uh, VR is also good, but I would say it's just not as good as Vermilion. So it's hard for me to put a recommendation on that one, except for, if you like Vermilion and just want to try something a little different, I think painting is almost as good as Vermilion and it has a little, uh, some other extra stuff to offer. Plus the physics is really good on that one. And uh, this will be for figure drawing, <laughs> um, which is very niche, I would say. Um, anyways, I am Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions for Gesture VR. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.